Today we take a road trip into Higgles country. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be with the Note to Macro legend again. We're gonna be learning park mode. And as you will see, if I stated in the video, that I was not happy with the tone settings in this mode, even the ones that I personally set up the night before to try to give it a little bit more diversity. Let's get started. So good morning, everybody. I'm uh, gonna try the park mode out today. Haven't done that just yet, so I'm gonna switch it over. I've already got some preset settings in there for this. I'm gonna leave it in custom where I leave the iron notched out since I'm not field hunting today. And uh, I'm gonna noise cancel. I'm gonna drop my sensitivity down to about 24, get it one under that mark, and then we will go from there. Uh, on location today, I'm in a park, uh, about two hours from the house, and I'm getting to hang out with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Brian B. Higgles. Getting ready to start swinging out here in this uh, tot lot. A lot of silvers come out of here, and uh, he says it's gonna be a good day, so I'm gonna take his word for it. Peace. I had a high lower to mid tone. I had my first coin signal with the legend today. Looks like it's going to be a nickel. Yep, just a good old Jefferson. But it's my first coin. It rang like a 25. I'll have to remember that. 25 on park mode. About four inches. So I got something round. It's a really bouncy signal. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It's going to be a coin. Oh, I already see it's a crusty thinking. Okay, well now I know what that sounds like too. That's my excuse for digging them right now. I don't know what they sound like. Now the one observation that I can make thus far about the, uh, about the legend is that you're pulling targets in there. I've got the volume set fairly low. And I've got targets that sound like they're right on top of the surface, but yet they're four inches down. So they've done a really good job. Well, maybe too good a job of making, you know, uh, smaller targets that are deeper, louder. So I'm, I'm, I'm still getting used to that. I'm going to have to drop the volume a little bit more, maybe play with it a little bit some, because everything sounds like it's right on top of the ground and it's causing me a little bit of issue right now. But so far, uh, not a lot of good targets today so far. Got a couple pieces of clad, but I'm keep going. So this tone was a little higher. 47, 44, 45, right in that area. Bouncing around just a little bit. We'll see what it is. Uh-oh, this is the cops. And they busted somebody. All right, well, so I had a high tone here, or a higher tone. And I can't quite get, figure out what it is just yet. I'll probably have to come back to it a little bit, but it's folded over. It's got decorative on it. It could be some kind of a, um, a lid or something like that, but I can't get, I don't think I have anything to pry it open with, but it's definitely older or it looks older. And there's something on it. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, like a watch, like a pocket watch cover. It could be. I see that it's got copper in it. I can tell that by looking at it. But the way that it's folded, it's kind of weird. I'm not really, I really can't see anything on it right now. If it's anything good, I'll post a picture, but it was a very nice tone, right around a 47 on, on the uh, Legend. Big, thick, and copper, so when it's folded over, so I see why it rang high. I can't quite make out that design, but I see it. Anyway, I'll stick that in a good pouch. high tone I wasn't sure what it was and I missed it right here and I had to come back over this way to get it and I think it's actually something cool oh yeah yeah looky there it is an old uh, that's a heavy old like a badge oh no it's a pin so it might actually be a real badge it's got a pin on the back and it's definitely older I'm not going to clean it up too much right now because I don't want to tear it up but uh, that's a pretty cool old find. Right up here by this sidewalk is where the older stuff's coming out. And look at there. There's the B. Higgles. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. So this one sounds 
really good. Forty-four, forty-six. We'll get back to you. See what it is. All right. I don't know if this was the the one, but I got one right here. And it's a. It's just gonna be a memorial penny. Yep, Memorial Penny. That's my first one I've dug with this machine. And it rings right out of 45. Good to know. All right, keep moving. So I'm back. It's going to be a little bit of a spill. Got another one in the hole. This one was a little deeper. Maybe it's a wheat. <laughs> Go figure it's probably going to be able to sink even. And it was deeper. Nope, yeah, that's going to be a zinc. And it was deeper in the hole. That's, I still thought I had a higher tone in there. I'm gonna keep looking. Anyway, I'll just leave you on for a minute. So it took me a minute searching around, had a really nice deep hole here, about eight inches down. Hoping for a, hopefully it be a wheat scent. Let's we'll see what it is. Looks like it is. Now oh, this one's probably gonna be a sink. That's another coin. Oh yeah, that's a crusty sink. All right, another coin. Well, I don't necessarily want to claim this as a find yet, but we'll see. It was right on the surface. Oh, okay, it's it's not what I saw. When I saw that side, I thought it might have been a coin, but it's just a battery. So I say, I, it didn't ring over when I touched it. Move to the other side of the park. Uh, it's the first time I've been on in a while. Had quite a bit of uh, crusty zincs in here and I think my first signal is going to be another one but there it sits another shallow coin 41 definitely a zinc okay well I've learned what zinc pennies ring like got a pretty high tone in the plug right here this time oh highest tone that I've dug today finally found something where yeah. Here you are. Could be silver. Doubt it. But let's check. Uh, you'll probably know before I will. I gotta look at it really close. First time, first high tone, really, that I've had above a wheat signal today. So I got another high tone. I don't know if there's anything any really good or not. Of course, everything sounds good. The four inches. Closer to three. And we'll find it sooner or later. Here. Oh, it's going to be a penny. At least this one's copper. Yay, copper penny. I've been chasing this stupid signal so long, I don't even know what I, what the signal was anymore. Anyway, I finally got it out of the side wall of this plug. And it looks like it's a coin. And it is... And it's gonna be another crappy zinc penny. Uh, 
anyway, we moved on to a church. Uh, there you go. That looks familiar, doesn't it? That's B. Higgles School over there. We're across the street at the church right next to it. The man, look at it, isn't it pretty? It's in the corner of this little old town. It's 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 a sight to behold. Lucky man having that permission. So I have to cut it off right there uh, for the first day out in park mode. It was a pretty big success. I managed to not dig a lot of trash. I managed to figure out what my signals were, which ones I wanted to listen to, but I totally had to adjust my audio all day. Getting that audio set to your liking is gonna be one of the biggest challenges I think you have with this machine. But being that it's totally customizable, you can adjust and set to what your preferences are on how you want those tones to sound and where you want those tones to hit. It's going to be a constant process for a little while until you get it exactly the way that you want it. Had a great time with Brian B. Higgles. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for taking me in and, and taking me out and showing me your stuff. Great finds, great places to hunt. I, everybody, please be sure you check out Brian on B. Higgles. He is growing very fast. He's got a great channel and he's an even better guy. Until next week, um, I'm going to conclude this probably in shorts because I got a few more clips that I didn't get to fit into this video. But next week is going to be another permission and a hunt with Nick. So I will see you guys then with the Nocta Macro Legend. See you guys. Mm -hmm.